morning, good morning, good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us be glad by lifting him up, amen, in worship. This morning I want to talk about remembering and worshiping. Uh, worshiping and remembering. Uh, how do we worship? How should we worship? Um, this is how uh, in the book of Exodus, uh, the when the Israelites made ready to go out of Egypt, to make their exit from Egypt, the Bible says in Exodus 12, it says, the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb from, for each family, a lamb for each household. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat. And this is how you shall eat it, with your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in haste, or in a hurry. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals, all on all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be assigned for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance, a perpetual ritual. Even in times of great danger and haste, there is a place for worship, for ritual in our spiritual lives. God is careful here to give very specific instructions on how families should celebrate the first Passover. God is a God of symbols, and he impregnates common objects and div with divine significance. The, he, the, the precision which with, uh, with which, rather, God creates the Passover meal will be a precision, will be a, um, uh, will be a precision he brings to the law and to the construction of the tabernacle. Why? Is it important and what, but also how, how we speak, how we pray, how we act, how we worship. We worship by remembering the Lord's mighty acts. We worship by remembering what he has done in our lives. Remember the things that he has brought you out of the things that he has passed over and brought you through while others were being struck down all around you with uh, different diseases, with different uh, maladies, with all kinds of things. God kept you. God passed over you because of the blood, the spirit of Christ within you. You were able to, to persevere. Many of us have been through this pandemic and the, the, the dreaded COVID-19 has not touched us, but it's touched people all around us. Or if, we, if it did touch us, God brought us through it. Yes, he did. And so we want to worship him for all that he does, for his protection, for his provision. Amen. We want to worship him for everything he does and says. Um, when we pray, when we worship, it, God wants to see that. When we worship, we are also obedient to God. This is how we serve God. In our obedience is our worship. Amen. And how we worship to God plays a role 
in the kind of people that we are becoming. Amen. So pay attention to how you worship. Are you remembering what God did for you and worshiping him in spirit and in truth? That is to obey what he says. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do what I say. As a matter of fact, that is his Last command, when we make disciples, is to teach them to do everything that Jesus says to do. This is our true worship, the sacrifice of ourselves on the altar of obedience. God bless you this morning and keep you is my prayer. We're getting close to Good Friday, and to Easter Resurrection morning. Amen. So let us be mindful right now. Let us be, uh, look to the cross, but don't just look to the cross. Look to the empty tomb, to the resurrection, and walk today in resurrection power. God bless you and keep you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you for your resurrection power. We thank you, Lord, that you are God all by yourself. And so we lift you up in worship. Lord, put it in us to obey. Allow us to uh, obey your Holy Spirit as he guides us. Allow us to obey your word as Jesus, the word of God, the expression of God stands in front of us. And you, O oh God, cast the light from over our shoulder upon him, Lord, that we may see Jesus and, Lord, that we may worship you with all our hearts, all our mind, all our spirit, and all our soul. We love you, Lord. Lord, take us, mold us into that which you want us to be. We'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor, not just with our mouths, but with our very lives. On this day in particular, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, we pray his name, nature, and character we take on. In your name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you and keep you. Remember, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed.